Don't the monsters come over here? Not monsters, Lex. They're just animals. I love monsters. You love monsters. That's why you're watching this. And monsters, from the lumbering to the nimble, the frightening to, well, the pathetic, have inhabited the silver screen since the dawn of cinema. With so many to choose from, it's time to dig up the six best monsters in cinematic history. Number six, vampires. These blood-sucking bastards have been haunting our imaginations for over a century. There have been countless iterations over the decades. Some of them great, and of course, some real shitty ones. However, the one vampire that rises above them all is no other than Dracula himself. I am Dracula. Masterfully brought to the undead life by the ever-wonderful Gary Oldman in Francis Ford Coppola's Bram Stoker's Dracula, a performance that rises above the film itself. So deliciously evil, so romantically tragic. So flamboyantly campy. And of course, that hair. Yeah, his hairdo looks so queer. I heard that! It was a boy! Number five, The Thing from The Thing. Just like the film, no bullshit is needed. The Thing is arguably John Carpenter's best film and the best remake of all time. The fly being number two. It is still the greatest battle ever captured between humanity and AI. Checkmate. Cheating bitch. I, I, I mean, it is still the pinnacle of practical creature effects. The effects in this masterpiece transforms the thing from more than just a monster, but into a menacing force pushing those it encounters into a frenzy of paranoia and madness, including a very young and spry Wilford Brimley. I kill you. There's also the shitty CGI remake. Number four. They say in space no one can hear you scream, but apparently you can still hear explosions. Of all the terrifying, bizarre, silly, and straight up cheap alien life forms across the galaxy, the xenomorph still reigns supreme, despite some shitty ones. It's the perfect blend of insectoid, humanoid, and the bizarre sexual desires of a strange Swiss man to arouse the fear locked deep down in our lizard brains. H.G. Geiger's design is still the base for nearly all alien designs to copy. I, I, I mean, find inspiration from. Number three. Ugh, zombies! Slow zombies, fast zombies, dead zombies, zombies that aren't really zombies, classic zombies, funny zombies, and of course, shitty zombies. Of all the zombies that have ever decayed before our eyes, hands down or off, the best zombie ever is the return of the living dead's Tarman. Great! The unique design, the slimy effects, the janky body movements in the performance, and even the fun yet menacing voice. Everything about Tarman is a home run. Number two, robots. Obviously, the only choice here is the Terminator. Now, there are great Terminators and shitty Terminators, but the best is still the original T-800. Get out. Dreamt up by James Cameron and brought to life by Stan Winston, the T-800 is a menacing design that refuses to age. An unstoppable, unsympathetic killer that, you know what, Michael Bean explains it better than I. You can't stop him! He'll wait for you, reach down her throat, and pull her fucking heart out! Doug. You're dead, honey. Before number one, some quick honorable mentions. The Predator. No, no, no. I mean, the Predator. No, 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 no. This Predator. Once more, the Predator. For the large, Godzilla. Except this one. For the small, Critters. That's right. I like them better than Gremlins. For the animated, it's got to be the disgusting God Warrior from Nauska of the Valley of the Wind. For the animals, Jaws. For slashers, I gotta go Freddy Krueger. And for the slow burn, HAL 9000. Number one. They're under the ground! They're under the ground! Tremors. Throughout this series, there have been some great monsters and some shitty ones. 
But the number one, numero uno, Ichiban monster of all time is still the classic Graboid. Graboid, that's a Graboid. What is more terrifying than giant creatures lurking below your feet, listening to your every motion? Besides the wonderful practical effects, what makes these monsters so frightening is how believable their biology is. From how they hunt, it senses seismic vibration. That's how they get you. They're under the goddamn ground. To how they navigate through the Pliocene alluvial soil, the dirt. Yeah, it must push itself along with these. It's surprising that they don't exist in real life. As a young child, this film made every step taken outside a terrifying ordeal. But I could never resist yet another rewatch. The true testament of a great monster flick. So there they are. Do you agree? Comment below, like, share, and all that crap so I can defeat the greatest monster of all the algorithm. Like, share, subscribe. Did you hear that?